Today we'll have a look at a tech subject, multi-core CPU processing. First of all, a multi-core CPU simply has more than one central processing unit, and these can operate in parallel to perform more processing simultaneously than a single core could alone. Although it's not as common as it once was, marketing departments often intimate that their program has full control over multi-core processing and have cleverly programmed their software to make use of all your cores. Hmm, well, half truth. Really, all programmers do is publish to the Windows operating system threads or independent processes. Then, the Windows scheduler, not the programmer, is responsible for the core assignment. Let's have a look at a multi-core CPU as we push it with FL Studio and Harmer. Here's a snapshot of FL Studio at idle and the task manager. You will notice that of the eight cores available, three have been parked. That is, Windows has shut them down to stop the ice caps melting. Let's start our stress test and notice the Windows and FL Studio CPU meters. Stop. Notice at the moment the Windows CPU meter is showing 34% and the FL Studio meter 60%. It's at this point some users start running around with their hands in the air on our support forums complaining. Well, there's a few things going on. First, the Windows CPU meter really isn't relevant in FL Studio. The FL Studio meter is more closely related to underruns. That is, when it approaches 100%, then you'll get pops and crackles. Second, Windows still has two part cores, so the relationship between core use and the FL Studio CPU meter at low to mid usage can be quite complex. As you'll see, the harder we push the CPU, the two tend to even out again. It's just Windows and Intel doing the eco thing. OK, so in the end we pushed the CPU into underruns. However, also notice that as the workload went up, Windows fired up all the additional cores. There may also be speed stepping of the CPU clock. Really, there's no need to worry about the Windows CPU meter and core assignment. FL Studio always publishes more than enough threads to keep your multi-core CPU busy. It's just that the operating system CPU management features doing their job and causing some confusion. Until next time, enjoy your multi-core CPU.